Hey guys, I literally just walked in the door, just got home from the gym. My hair is kind of messy and um, I'm not wearing much makeup, but that's okay. I just want to pop on really quickly and talk to you guys about the variants of GBS because I had somebody um, ask me to do a video about that. So the most common form of GBS is AIDP and that stands for Acute Inflammatory Demyelinating Polyneuropathy. <laughs> that's a very big word for me to try to remember, but I did it. Symptoms in AIDP include sensory loss, such as tingling and pain, and then symmetrical weakness. About 75 to 80% of GBS cases will fall under AIDP. In this form of GBS, the immune system is attacking the myelin, and the myelin is the protective coating around your nerves. So the next form of GBS is called AMAN, and that stands for Acute Motor Axonal Neuropathy. AMAN is usually quite severe and comes on very quickly, uh, but recovery seems to be pretty favorable. For some reason, AMAN is very common um, in Asia and there's been lots of cases within um, China and, and places like that. And AMAN is what I was diagnosed at one point. Then there's AMSAN and that stands for Acute Motor Sensory Axonal Neuropathy. In this form of GBS, the immune system is actually attacking the axon. So that's not just the coating around the nerve, it's the actual nerve and, and different parts within the nerve. So when the immune system attacks there, it's generally much more severe. AMSAN is considered the most severe um, of all of the uh, variants and recovery can be very slow and often not complete. I was also diagnosed with this at one point because I had such severe um, sensory loss. But I recovered very well, um, so that kind of contradicts that diagnosis, so I'm not really sure. But So moving on to Miller Fisher, and Miller Fisher was named after the doctor that had uh, discovered that variant. Fun fact, GBS was also named after two doctors that discovered it as well. Um, so Miller Fisher is um, the variant that affects the eye muscles. In Miller-Fisher, the first symptoms are usually problems with the eyes, uh, usually double vision or, or problems seeing things properly, and that usually continues on through the course of GBS, and then usually it's actually the last thing to return back to normal. Now, not everyone knows what variant they have. Um, it kind of depends on which doctor you have and, and whether your doctor looks into it further. Like I said, so many people fall under that AIDP and, and it's just kind of classic GBS. Now sometimes, and this was in my case, is people kind of fall on this line. So for me, like personally, I think it's more like a spectrum. Some people don't necessarily fall under one specific category and maybe they just kind of have symptoms of all of them. I myself had severe double vision for a very long time. I showed signs of AIDP, I showed signs of AMAN, I showed signs of AMSAN. They told me my recovery was gonna be terrible and then I recovered almost completely. So. That's GBS. I, I don't think um, anyone truly knows what that means and what your diagnosis means. Um, but what I say is that don't let that pigeonhole you, whatever diagnosis you're given, don't let that pigeonhole you into thinking, okay, well, I've been told that I have the most severe case and I'm not going to recover and I'm not going to try. Even to this day, when we do EMGs on myself to study my nerves, I do have a little bit of axon damage. And in, in my neurologist's eyes, she doesn't un quite understand how I'm even walking. Yet, like I said, I've recovered completely and I'm going to the gym all the time. So sometimes your EMG or even your diagnosis doesn't correlate to what your recovery will look like. So that's it for today. Um, as you can see, the sun is setting and I gotta stop talking before this lighting looks even worse than it already does. Maybe one day I'll pitch in some money and, and get some better lighting and better camera for you guys. But for now, I'm working with what I've got and I've had a change of plans. I'm actually going back to work full time now very suddenly and I'll um, elaborate more on a future video, but I won't be able to do these videos as often just because my time is going to be kind of busy with going back to work and, and whatnot. Um, but I will keep up with these. It just won't be probably every week. So I will see you guys when I see you. Thanks for watching.